Hello fantastic people, I hope you are doing great. From the very beginning I knew that One Bad Dwarf will be a mobile game. It is a little bit scary as I never published anything for this type of platform. The part that I was the most worried about is handling player input. However, it turns out that the input system package makes it extremely easy. Let me show you. Here I have this little elf. He can walk and jump. The way the script is written doesn't really matter. The most important thing is that it uses the new input system. If you would like to check if it's installed, you can go to Window, Package Manager and then search for the input system in the Unity registry. If the package is installed, you will see a remove button in the right bottom corner. If you haven't worked with the new input system, you may want to check those two tutorials. Here I have my simple input action asset. It has just two actions, walk and jump. Both of them have two bindings. The relevant ones are the gamepad inputs, as those will be used by mobile. So for the walk, I selected the left stick and for jump, the south button. Now in the hierarchy, I create new UI image. I double click on the canvas to zoom out a little bit. Then I set the anchor point of the image to the left bottom corner and adjust its position. The image will become my joystick, so it is quite important that it's located far enough from the edges. The input package comes with on-screen stick and on-screen buttons components. For now, I'm going to use the first one. For the control path, I select the left gamepad stick. You will not believe, but it's all we had to do. Let's test it out. Fantastic! Let's make it look a little bit nicer. First, I select a nice sprite. Then, of course, I need to adjust its size. I don't want it to be too invasive, so I'm going to decrease the alpha using the color setting on the image. This will make it semi-transparent. Awesome, time to add the jump button. I add another image and change its anchor point to the right bottom corner. Then I add adjust its position, add a nice sprite to it and of course make it semi-transparent. Now it's time to add to it the on-screen button component. For the control path I select the gamepad south button. I rename the button and add another image as its child. This time I'm using the arrow sprite which will indicate nicely the jumping action. I adjust its alpha and then play a little bit with the size of the button and the arrow. I want to make sure it is big enough so it's easy to use but at the same time that it is not too invasive. Let's test it out. Fantastic! Let's now create a very small script which will allow us to show the inputs only on mobile platforms. I create a new script and call it show on mobile. I assign the script to the canvas and open it. I use the set active method on the underlying game object. For the value I use the application dot is mobile platform. The best thing about it is that it will work correctly even on the WebGL builds. If you enjoyed this little tutorial, don't forget to share it with your friends. And of course, subscribe to my channel. And most importantly, have a fantastic day. Love you and bye bye.